Guys, I've been doing some filament testing, making shorts, just giving a quick opinion of certain filaments, just so you guys know which filaments are okay to use. Not necessarily an advanced review, but just something to let you know, yes, it's okay. This filament's been tested and works well. Or no, this filament's absolutely crap, avoid it. That's been the point. But I wanted to show you this, this mask, I've been printing all the same masks with all these different filaments over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. This one was printed with Creality CR PLA matte. I have never used this filament before. Creality sent it to me and I basically ignored it. First off, not only is it a cardboard spool and working in my AMS, which I still do not recommend doing, but I finally decided I'd open it up and try it. I didn't want to use it because it's a bit of an obscure filament that I've never heard of. It's a newer filament. Why does it exist when there's Ender filament, when there's Hyper PLA? You know, Creality has a whole lineup of PLA. What is with this CR PLA and how do you distinguish it from others and determine why you should use it? But anyway, I have it. I'm doing these short tests. So I decided let's give it a try and let's test it. Here is that mask. Let's just say it surprised me a little. This filament has the softest, easiest to remove supports I've ever seen. Check it out. It came right off the bed, left the supports on the bed. Mind you, with no effort and no snapping. Here are the eye supports. Watch this. The supports are off the print. And it's nice and strong. It has a good matte finish. Holy cow, guys. Creality CR Matte Filament is awesome. If you have a difficult print with difficult supports, this is the filament for you.